episode 40. Sorry, I missed yesterday. But let's just get right into it. So I was... Uh, I was on Reddit, okay? I, every once in a while, I just go on Reddit on my homepage to see... To just, like, check the posts because I'm bored or something. Or uh, maybe it's, like, compulsive. Or maybe it's, like, impulsive. Yeah, it's like a it's like an impulsive social media thing. Yeah, I should probably probably stop doing it. I actually was not doing it for a while, but I am following the or I am in the Godot subreddit, so it's like semi useful. And I came across this post, pretty um pretty funny, pretty funny post, even though I've never used this method in my life. And I... Okay. Uh, this is so... I hate these. I hate these so much. I hate these comments so much I almost want to downvote them. But, uh... Basically, I was curious as to why this is not a good thing to do, even though I've never done it. So, people just say... Uh, let me think. Okay, yeah. So, then I, I stumbled across, or I read on... And I came across a comment. Where is it? This one? Is it this one here? I mean, this is a good, this is like good information to know. Pretty much anything I can learn about the game engine that I'm using, and am going probably am going to use for a long time, is good information. Or is good I. Okay. Uh, I yeah, I didn't need to say information. So, I was just curious as to why this is bad, so I read down so I don't make the mistake. And people repeated call down signal up. Okay, and then I got I eventually got down to this. Okay, I eventually got down to... Okay, where is the comment? Decoupling. Wait, okay, so signal down... Uh... Okay, couple is okay. Someone wrote a someone wrote a comment that said something something decoupling more decoupling, right? Actually, let me maybe it was on this one. Maybe it was on this one. Uh yeah, okay, this one. So I read on and it says Parent note is not allowed to access any of its children directly. What? Oh, with the parent note from a child note. Uh, is, is allowed, is allowed to access any of its children directly. It's not the same for, for a child trying to access its parent. So usually people don't even use get parent. Uh, people, th this guy uh, made a solution of uh, let me think. I don't know. He creates a variable. Alright, great, sick. Uh, so I 
Okay, I, I'm like trying to formulate sentences here, and I'm failing very hard. So, basically, this guy commented, this guy responded, signal up, call down, and then keep going. Basically, this guy's solution sucked. I keep looking over here because that's that's where I can see myself in the in the video. And then it went down, and then it said, yeah. So a parent node is allowed, a child node isn't, uses signal, and then this person said, if you want it to be even more decoupled, then you make a signal slash messenger class to hold the signals, or just a script, or just a, just a um, auto load script. It doesn't have to be a class. I don't know why people do that. Like, each new script is a class anyway, right? Am I, am I wrong? Am I wrong about that? Honestly, let me just, do I need my face cam? Do I need my face cam here? No. Okay, so I made a nice little game dev uh, playlist for me to learn game dev for videos that I, uh, you know, for videos that I, wait a second. Can I get an ad, bro? The one time I want an ad? Can you fudging... Okay. Uh... Okay, I just got... Uh, there was just some really lo long and loud thunder right next to my house. That was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, wait a second. Wait a second. Did I actually dox myself blocking these ads? Hold up. Uh, if I do... What is it? This one? Can I get an ad, please? Can I get an ad, bro? I'm... I'm like, okay, okay, uh, you know, I can worry about it later. I can worry about it later, it's fine. Okay, so, what the fudge, I thought I, yeah, okay, great. Oh my, okay. So, Uh, wow, things are taking a long time to load here. All right, great. So am I going to get another ad? No. All right. So I go over here. I look here. Classes. Let's rewatch the classes one. There we go. Classes. This is a good one. Okay, so... Encountered a bunch of... Is it, I have to put it and it's one, so let's forget all not creating a class, but for all intents and purposes, I have to put a disclaimer here that we are technically not creating a class, but for all intents and purposes, it works just like one, so let's forget all about that for now. So that's a bad thing. Wait, we're what? instancing the sprite class. So when we create a script, we're actually also creating a class. I have to put a disclaimer here that we are technically a script, we are actually also creating a class. The sprite class. So when we create a script, we are actually also creating a class. I have to put a disclaimer here that we... It's like technically not sure. And we can now add some... Okay, so why would you do this? Why would you do this? That's my real question. If creating a script basically creates its own class.
You get what I mean? Like, terrible. What of type good strength. is this? And give each character a health as well of type integer. And so now we can see that our character here has these two properties in the inspector. And we can go ahead and fill out the profession. This is going to be the potion seller who is going to have. Okay. Uh, sure, sure. So you just hold it in this script and then you can reuse the script. Can you have multiple scripts on one node? Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it completely, but it's fine. Basically, um, basically, you create a uh, an auto load script with signals with all the signals and then you can just call the script right you can call it signals dot uh let me just do an uh, uh let me just do a find let me just find the example here that someone put signals dot some event and then you can just uh and i had another post there was another one uh okay so people call it a signal bus okay Here we go. This guy says he houses all of his signals for the entire game in a singleton. And then he does... Here, here's an example that he gives. Signals.healthpickedup.connect And then I'm assuming there's a signals.health.pick... Okay. Signals.healthpickedup dot like run or something and then you can put an action inside the inside the method like inside or inside the function here and then it will when it emits it'll do it automatically i'm pretty sure i'm like assuming also i realized that i'm doxing myself this is my uh this is, that's my reddit name and anyone can look it up that's nice very cool um, and I don't think you can make your Reddit account private, which is pretty cool. So that's something good to know. I just spent 13 minutes explaining what I just learned. But I will use that. I'll, I'll use that method or technique uh, when I am making my game. So I am over here at the, over here in my game dev, game dev playlist. And this is the first one I want to watch. Inheritance and composition. Here, and I will not watch it right this second. Instead, I will actually try to do the angle change, the angle change thing that I wanted to, um, that I wanted to figure out. Yeah, I, I will. Yeah, instead I'm going to. How do I say this in a better way? Instead I'm going to. Add. Angle change functionality to the Pong game. And I will. Instead, I'm going to add angle change functionality to the Pong game. To the Pong game, period. Okay, great. Okay, so we do on body entered, and I did figure out, uh, also looking things up, that if you just use the global position of... Uh, of the body here... 
then you can do uh, yeah you can do if uh, if what is it position I can just do position here if position dot x wait a second what okay is like greater than global body position dot x it, it wouldn't be x actually it would be y if and also because it's negative no that would work that would work and then i can do blah 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 blah, blah. you know it changes its angle okay but first i actually don't believe that person and i'm going to test it out so i'm going to do print body dot global Okay, actually, I'm going to do body.position first. I'm going to print that first. And also, I... Realize that I actually don't need to do... What the fudge? I don't need to do self. I can just do zoom, I'm pretty sure. Right? Is it is that gonna is that gonna work? No. The answer is no. So I do have to put self here. Yeah, I do have to put self. I can't just do zoom like position or anything, which is which is great. I mean, like, uh, why why can't like if I do print position, yeah, then it actually works. Why doesn't it work now? You know. Okay, and now I have something up beyond comprehension. Uh, what is going on? Oh, that's, that's what's going on. Yeah. So if I do this, actually, does that work? Yes. Okay. So I uh, turns out I don't have to put self. Okay. So I can print zoom here. Nice. Easy. And it should return uh eight. I think I have it at eight. Yep. Eight in X and Y. Great. Okay. So I don't have to put self ever. I don't have to put self ever. I don't know why I saw that in the, uh, I saw that in someone's code somewhere on some forum. But yeah, uh, I was gonna say I dox myself. I dox my Reddit account. Uh, I meant to say that exact phrase. Okay, let's go. Um, body dot position. Okay, so whenever this hits, it should print the position. Yep, and it's a float for some reason. Uh huh. Okay, so what? So my real question is, what is... Okay. Just to make it very easy for me. Uh, I will print global position. And I will be able to see the difference right in the console, right there. Okay, was that? 
I love how the autocomplete feature just stops working. Isn't that nice? Why? Why 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 is it doing that? Oh my fu Yep. Okay, great. Global position. Nice. Uh yep. Yep. Mm hmm. Oh, but what? I'm so very confused. It's the same. What? Why is it exactly the same? Brody, Brody, please. Position. Is it deprecated? Is it deprecated? Okay, I'm going to look something up. Global position dot Okay, versus, I'm trying to freaking, I'm trying to literally write code in my address bar, which is nice, versus position Godot. There you go. Thank you. When to use position and global position. Position is the local position of the node, which is pretty much the offset from the parent's position. But global position is the world space. Oh. So if I want to instance a scene and set its position in the game scene, should I use global position? Poggers. Okay, that makes sense. I don't else think it would have made more sense to have position and local position. I believe it would be even better as global position and local position. However, neither Godot nor Unity do it this way for some reason. No, if you want to work with local coordinates, you can just, just attach stuff to a node at the origin, then position is effectively global. If position was global by default, there would be no easy hack to make it local. Okay, sure. Okay, fair, fair, fair enough. Tight, 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 right, nice. Um, okay, yeah, so this is easy, actually, then. So, I just have to write... Oh, yeah, I just have to write however many if statements that I want to segment this... Segment the bars into, so... Right now, I guess, uh, actually, let me think here. So the bar is, is it, the bar is, uh, can I open this? No. Can I open this? Thank you. The bar is how many, how large? Shape. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I was trying to... Wait. Uh, what? Yeah, so what I was trying to do is do collision shape. It makes too much sense. Of Why, uh, why would I be able to do it? It makes too much sense. I was trying to do... Body dot collision shape. Uh, I mean, this is. I literally did this on, while I was recording, I'm pretty sure. 
body dot collision shape two D dot shape dot size and oh yeah dot x wait what the f what like why shouldn't you be able to do this you know what i mean do you do you understand what i'm saying like why shouldn't you be able to do this it's going to crash, isn't it? The game is going to crash when the ball hits. Yeah! Okay, um... Like, here's the thing. Why can't I get... Okay, stop. Why can't I get... children or get components from the body when it hits me? That's my real question. You know what I mean? Do you understand what I'm saying? Um. Yeah, I just, uh, I, I just, I, d I don't get that. I don't get that. Um. Can I do body dot size size? Body dot size, body dot, body dot, ha, okay. Can I... What the fudge? Can I not click on this? I can click on these. Why can't I click on them? What? Oh, that's really handy, though, as well. By the way. Do I have to do this manually? But what if I want to change the size of the bar mid-game? Like, it doesn't work if I do that. All right, let me look. Let me look this up. How to get the size of the object with on body entered you can use area 2d dot body shape entered if you want to know which shapes triggered the overlap Example, as an example, I have an enemy with two collision 2D shapes. One that is damageable and one that is not. So when I hit one with on body entered, I want to know if it is the damageable one. What? Body shape entered. Body shape. How to tell what sort of body I've hit in area dot body entered. Body is a reference to the intersecting body, so you can use any of these depending on the game setup. It's worth pointing out that checking by name will likely resolve an errors when running multiple instances of the same scene as their names need to be unique. In that case, using a group will be better. Make sure you add your door scene to the correct group and be very 
wary of the fact that group names are case sensitive. Is there a way to check the object to see if it has the open door method? I don't know what I'm looking at right now. I don't really know what I'm looking at right now. If body is static body. If body... Hmm. 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 Body dot collision shape area. What do I actually have to? Area entered. What when the received area enters this area? Requires monitoring to be set to true. Monitoring. Monitoring. I guess I'm going to do that. I guess this is just what I'm going to do. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to do BAM. This should work the same way. Right? Yep. Connecting from... Right, if I just copy this, and then I just copy this, nice, then I should, it should have the same functionality, I think, right, probably. No! Uh, what? What is going on? What is going on? On area enter. Hmm. What? Area shape entered. Emitted when a shape 2D of the receiving area enters the shape of this area. It requires monitoring to be set to now. Monitoring to be set to true. Monitoring to be set to true. Now where is that? Requires monitoring to be set to true. Okay. Yeah, okay. I guess I'll just, uh, yeah. What? What? Um, what? Oh, why, what? Yeah, wait, why, what? I'm so confused. Wait, disconnect that. Disconnect that, thank you. 
that's not what I meant to do, thank you. Haha, uh, ha, I'm a programmer now, haha. Ha. Okay. Let's go back to here. Let's do area shape entered. Let's connect that. What? Uh, what? Bro. Bro. Why can't... What? What? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Area... Body shape enter. Body, body shape entered. Okay. Not. Uh, what? What? Port var. Let's add a profession. Come. Documentation. TD script is. I'm a giant. Basketball, here I come. Documentation. <laughs> TD script is actually pretty well documented. And one of the really cool things about it is that the documentation is linked with the editor. If you hold down control and click on something we would like to know more about, such as the rendi range function, it opens up the documentation right here in the editor. This is a really quick and easy way to check if you're using a function correctly. It also works for classes, which we'll learn about later. Arrays. Sometimes you want a variable that. Inheritance and composition are two. Okay, okay. Um. Also, also. Um, how did I get to this before? If I want to create a script, then I... What are these? I don't know what any of these do. Provides a high level interface for implementing. Undo and redo operations. Exposes performance related data. Provides access to common. What?
What? I'm confused. I'm not going to figure it out tonight. That's fine. All right, we got uh, area 2D. Area 2D, which is under... What is it under? Collision object. Two D, which Wow. Oh my. Okay. That's a lot. Okay. Uh, let's do. Okay. Signals. Input event. Input event. Okay, also, I guess I don't need the... Maybe I will. You know, maybe I'll leave it up. Yeah, I don't know what this is saying. Really, I kind of I kind of don't know what this is saying. Uh, area... 2D.body shape entered. What? Is this actually it? Did this actually take me to where I wanted to go? Example of getting the collision shape 2D node from the shape index. What? Middle window shape two D versus body under zero. Can be a physics body two D or tile map. Tile maps are detected if their tile set has collision ships configured. Requires monitoring to be set to true. Local shape index and body shape index contain indices of the interacting shapes from this area and the interacting body, respectively. Body dot body underscore rid contains the rid of the body. The rid variant type is used to access a low level resource by its unique ID. Rids are opaque, which means they do not grant access to the resource by themselves. They're used by the low level server classes such as display server, rendering server, text server.
Grids are only useful during the current session and won't correspond to a similar resource if sent over at network or loaded from a file at a later time. What? The fudge? Am I... Reading. Body dot shape find owner body dot shape owner get owner local shape index I don't know what that is I don't I don't know what I don't know what the local shape index is what is that what is that local shape owner body There has to be an easier way to do this, right? Am I tripping? Oh, this is a previous version. He sent a, sent a previous version, didn't he? No. No, he didn't. Um... Area shape entered. How the fudge do I do this? What? Hello? How to get the size of the object of the... Okay, I'll say body with on body entered. Hello, very new to Godot. Like I said on the title, Funk on body entered is not where to detect whether a thing is touching the player. What? Players in area 2D body entered detects any physics body. The easy way to solve this would be to add an area 2D node within your bomb and use an area entered signal. Area detects physics bodies and Body only detects physics bodies like rigid bodies, static bodies, and kinematic bodies or tile maps. Area detects physics bodies and other collisions via collision shape 2D. What? Do I actually have to write a signal for this? Please don't tell me I have to write a signal for this. <sighs> Bruh, do I really have to write a signal for this?
That would suck. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, that would actually suck if I did. Okay, why can't I... Oh. Oh. Well, this is nice, actually. Returns true if the given area 2D interacts or overlaps this area 2D. False otherwise. Oh, I see. I see, I see. The results of this test is not immediate after moving objects. For performance, the list of our laps is updated once per frame and before the physics step, consider using signals and stuff. What? No. Overlaps area. What the fudge? That's not what I clicked. That's doesn't seem updated. Oh, there it is. Nice. There it is. There it is. Nice. Okay. Minute when the received area enters this area. Can I click on that? Can I click on that? Nope. Hmm. Here your shape entered. A minute when a shape 2D. Circle, rectangle, yep, okay. Okay, I don't need that. The shape 2D of the received area enters a shape of this area. Local shape index and area shape index contain respectively area rid contains the rid of the other area. Hmm. Okay, I see. I think I I think I understand it now. Yep. I think I I think I get it. Sure. And thankfully I don't have to do that every single time. So I can do um, area shape entered here. Then I can do, uh, I can just freaking ignore all this. Then I can do, um, Area dot shape. What? Is that not what? Hmm. 
No. I messed it up. That is a horrible starting. All right, I got to get off soon. I got to get off soon. Um Hmm. So maybe I maybe I do have to make this a static body. No, that shouldn't matter. That shouldn't matter. Collision shape. Sample of getting the collision shape two D node from the shape index. What? These don't exist. What? What are these? What are these? Shape find owner. What? Well, I'm so confused. Returns the owner ID of the given shape. <laughs> what? What? I am so confused. Shit. 
shape. Okay, this is it. This is the problem to solve. This is the problem of the night to solve. This is it. This is it. As soon as I solve this, I'm getting off. <laughs> this cannot be that this cannot be that difficult How to get collision shape data with on body entered. Let's try, let's try it. What? Character body and rigid body don't directly interact as you would expect. We previously said character bodies don't have the body to enter callbacks. It feels very ugly to check for collision. Like this in the process function. I'd say sometimes it's just easier to use rigid body for the player too. Character bodies are not that bad, but they're there to give you a lot of freedom on how how your movement occurs and reacts, but that also means they're, that they're, that there's a lot of manual setup you need to do to make things work. Okay. How to get information from the body with on body entered? Play character I created is able to cast spells, so I, don't, I want to make enemies die whenever they are hit. For some reason, I can't get that to work. This is archived, okay. And this is an old post.
Body dot name. Here's the thing. Uh, here's the thing I don't get. Like, I should just be able to... Like, there... There has to be a... Collision shape. I could do this with signals, but I don't want to. You know? Like this. I'm trying to get this here. Expected identifier after dot for attribute access. Okay, let me think. Let me think. <laughs> Do I actually have to make a signal? Just for this? Are you kidding me, bro? What? What does this inherit from? What? Uh, I need to know what body, I need to know what body, ha like, what methods body has here. Body entered, body, no 2D. Okay, no 2D has methods. What? It's giving me a lot more methods than that. Midweather receive body enters this area body can be a physics body to your tile map. Okay. Body, no to D. Why is body a no to D? Why? Why is it? Why? Why is it? Why is it?
Okay. Collision shape size of the Okay, how to get the collision shape size of the body collided with in Godot in Godot. Okay, here we go. Raycast what? What? I don't want a raycast. Why would I want a raycast? Uh, what? Is this it, really? Raycasts. Equals collider dot get node. What the fuck? This is... I may as well, I may, I may as well just make a signal by this point. Like, th this is ridiculous. Like, if that's actually how you do it, that then there's no reason to do it that way. Like, do I need to? They're all collision objects. Okay. Sure. Uh... What? This is... <sighs> This is really lucky, actually, that it, I got it like that. Hmm.
But... Is this not actually... Is this really not a valid thing here? Yippee. Invalid get index size on base. Okay, I'm pretty sure I actually have to store this. So I do var body Sure, BCS. Or BCS. Okay, sure. BCS dot size. Can I print this, please? Like, seriously, by this point, it's like I may as well just make a, a... I may as well just make a... I may as well just make a signal. Hmm. Uh, yeah, this is not working. This is, uh, this ain't working. This ain't working. This is old. This is really old. Uh. Why can I not, why can I not find an easy answer to this? Do I ha actually have to make a signal? That ma That is like so upsetting that I have to do that. Uh, oh, also I meant to do something here. Uh, and also... I don't know why this doesn't work. I don't know why area shape doesn't work. Example of getting the collision shape 2D node from the shape index. What? Bro, th like this... It's the same. It's the same one. Like, these don't exist. They don't exist, do they?
No, they don't. For some reason, they're still showing up. Shape owner get shape. Okay, great. Okay, shape owner. And what is this for? Collision Object 2D Class Reference. Shape Owner. Why isn't it shown here? Shape owner get shape. Shape. Isn't there just a get shape? Uh, why is that not? From string to end. All right, fair enough, sure.
Okay, I'm going to try this again. And I don't know why this doesn't work. The valid get index size. Valid get index size. of a node in Godel. I may just have to make a post. I may just have to make a post on Reddit, on the Godot subreddit. How to get the collision shape size from another node in Godot. Okay, I also meant to test something else out. The extents of the shape are on the shape resource itself, not the collision 2D, shape 2D node. What? Okay, I figured it out. Pretty sure. I have to do this. I have to do shape. Shape dot size. You have to be You have to be trolling me. Okay, well, uh, the episode that I was intending to watch today, I did not. So, I will do that tomorrow. But, uh, right now, I will try and get this to work.
yeah, I will try and get this to work. I can do uh, body dot. I hate this so much, but whatever dot shape dot size dot y. Great. Let's see if that works. I think. Let's see if that works. Okay. Screw you. You have to be trolling me. Yep. And there you go. 12. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. Then we just got... Um, just copy this. And you know what? Sure, I will just make this a variable. Uh, uh, you know what? Sure, what is it? Body collision shape size. You know, I will just do body size. Body size. That uh, is so much easier. And I can do body... Oh, I can do if body size... So, 12... I could do if position is greater than yeah, greater than or equal to also nah nah I'm gonna do um I'm going to change this here. I don't want this to be vertical. So this is X. This is Y. X is fine. I don't care about X. Um, but I just don't want it to be zero. I don't want the Y to be close to zero. Oh, wait a second. Zero would just be nothing. Zero would be nothing here. So Y, I don't want the be Y. I don't want the Y to be. Yeah. Am I am I even going to be able to normalize this? Am I really even going to be able to normalize this? Do I need to normalize this even? Like I want it to not be completely one ever. Uh, you know, I'm going to do float. These are floats anyway. So I'm going to do 0. 0.7. And let's see what crazy crap that does. But right now we do if position is greater than or equal to... Oh. No, because why... 
because the y is actually uh, the y is actually messed up. So yeah. Okay. So then we got. Why, why did I dot shape dot size? This is so annoying. I have to do collision shape dot shape dot size. That's annoying. I don't understand why it's not just, why size isn't just a base variable on it or parameter or whatever you want to call it. It's fine. Okay. Uh, it doesn't actually matter. Greater than uh, body size Oh. Body dot position dot y plus okay, this is greater than actually. Plus body size. Oh, I want to do it in quarters here, actually. So, no. Wait, let me look. Let me look. So, I want this to be in quarters. Or I want it to be. No. Do I want it to be in quarters? No, I want it to be in sixths. Sixths. So I want it to be two, four, six, right? Two, four, six, and then two, four, six. Yep, six. I want it to be in sixths. If so, if position is greater than this is for the for the down here now. Okay, okay, I can do this. I can do this. If position is greater than body dot position dot y plus body size How do I subdivide this here? So plus body size minus body size Wait, what? Okay, how do I do this? All right, so we got, we have the bar here. This is the bar. This is rough, this is the middle here. I want to do subdivisions like this. This is, tw no, no, it's not. Uh, yeah, wait. So this is zero. This is the position here. Position. Uh, 
It helps to visualize. Okay. This is position minus Actually, I don't even need that. I don't even need that. This is position. I'm just going to do P. Position. So this is P minus. Uh, size. Okay. Wait, actually, would that be? So negative is up, negative is up, up is negative, down is positive, because I love how Godot works. So this is P minus size divided by 2. Uh Okay, size divided by six. So one of these segments is size divided by six. One, two, three, yeah. So this is P minus, so it's basically adding. Size divided by I guess it would be 12. Would it be 12? Size divided by 2 times 6. I guess it would be 6. Or would it? Would it just be minus? Uh, whatever, whatever. This is horrible. I hate that. Um, oh, no, it would be plus size divided by six, right? Yes. Yes. P, P minus size divided by 2, the total size, which would be out here. This would be S. Minus size divided by 2 plus size divided by 6. Now, the real question is how do I actually simplify that? So, size divided by 2. Or, no, uh, I can do S plus S over 6 minus S over 2. Then this would be S over 6 minus 3S over 6 here. So it would just end up being 2s over 6, which would be 
which would be s over 3. Is that right? To s over 6, which would be s over 3. Yeah. s over 3. So minus s over 3. Would that actually be right? Oh. Yeah, it would. I don't, I don't know why I'm putting in so much effort for this. Uh, a third, wait, it would be a third? Oh yeah, because, okay, yes, yes. So it would be minus, wait, what? Wouldn't it just be s divided by 3? Oh, okay. So this is a third here. This is s divided by 3. Yeah, okay. True. True, true. That is so true. Okay. Uh, okay, except, wait, what? Okay, this is greater. It's doing greater now, right now. But it doesn't matter. It's it's actually fine. So equals. Do I do an equals here? So it would be greater than or equal zero. You know, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do it from the middle up. If position is, yeah, so I keep this here. If position is greater than or equal to body position dot y. Can I do a greater than or less than? Is there a greater than or less than? Greater than or less than operator in coding oh i have to do okay No, there's not a better way to do it. Nice. Poggers. 
Alright, greater than or if position is Oh, this is why I was doing it. This is why I was doing it edges to middle. Is because... Okay. I see. I see. I see now. Uh, because the else statements actually play a role here. Then I can do less than. And then I can do else... Oh no, I can do Aleph. Like, that's the last check I want to do. Okay, so now I do, I just copy this. And then I do, I do some funky math here. If position is greater than oh, except I don't want it. I don't want equal to. I actually don't want equal to. Or do I want equal to? I do want equal to. It's it's less lenient here. And really, I don't even need the if statements. So I can do this greater than or equal to body dot position dot y plus body size. Plus no, not plus anything. Body dot position plus body size divided by six. And I think that should probably work. Probably. Then I do minus, yep. Then I do uh, copy this again. Then I do plus body size divided by um, I guess this is going to be the three one. Is it only three, really? Oh, yeah, it is only three. Yep, that's that's it. Yep, true. So I literally could have just copied this. Nice. Three. Then what I do is I do... Um, actually, let's go back to this. So there's one for this, there's one for this, one for here and here, one for here and here. So this, um, yeah, this is for this. This is for Wait a second.
body dot position dot y body size okay yeah so it should cover here and here 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 and here this is greater than position is greater than or equal to body position dot y plus Yeah. And then this one is a third if it's greater than if it's on the edge here. Nice. Yep. All right. Yep. That, that works. That works. Nice. I can close this now. Then I do... I just put this up here. I do if that, then something, then I do next one, then I do the next one is else, sorry, l if, l if this, yep. And the last one is else, or I guess l if, yeah. Or I don't even need this technically, actually. Yeah, I guess I could just do else. That's fine. What? 23. <laughs> I'm so confused. Whatever. Direction dot uh, what is it? X? Yeah. Times equals So it shouldn't go completely in the... Oh. Oh, it should. It should go completely in the opposite direction if I do negative. Uh, what's a large angle here? Oh no, I want to set the X to something. Oh. Yeah. I want to set the X to something. I don't just want to multiply it. So, what would it be? Zero times zero would make it just go this way. So the lower, the lower it is, the more horizontal it, it is. Okay, so I just do, um, And do I want the Y to change, though? Oh, or is it the Y that I want to change? It's the Y. It's the Y, actually. Now, now that I'm thinking about it... Uh, I can do Rand F... Uh, Rand F range. Yep. Uh, 
Wait, what? Wait, Rand F? What does this give me? Uh, what the fuck? Should I just clamp this? No. No, that, that's excessive. That's excessive. So I just invited my dad in. Uh, I'm just going to finish this up here real quick. Okay, why? I want it to be... Yeah, I want it to be at the greater Y. So I'm going to do 0. 0.66 and 1. And then I'm going to do this one. Are you ready for this, Pante? This is going to be crazy. Uh, this one's going to be 0. 0.66 and is this inclusive? Oh, let me actually double check and see if this is inclusive. Oh, okay. It is inclusive. Okay, great. So it includes one. One would be like straight up. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so this one is 0.33. Then this one is... Uh, 0.33 and 0. Are you ready for this? <laughs> okay, so... From what I've changed, this means the ball shouldn't go shouldn't go directly up. And I have no errors. I don't think I have any errors. Okay, and it did go directly. It went almost directly up, which is nice. And maybe this normalized thing isn't working. Okay. So <laughs> So now fudge. <laughs> No! Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, yeah. I'll, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Wait, invalid operands? What? Oh. Whoops. Position dot Y. Position dot Y. Yep. Okay. 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 Now it should work. I think. What? Okay. I'm actually trolling myself. Why? Why? Yeah, I just have to remember all of this. Nice. Okay, pretty good. Now let's try it. Oh my fu- Oh yeah, that's not- that's not it. Never mind. Is this not gonna show me where it is? Twenty one. I've positioned vector two and flow op flow in operator. The center equal to what? Oh, Oops. there you go. It should work, I think, maybe, probably. 
Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Uh, okay. It is not. Why? What in the world? Uh... Why is it doing that? Why is it zero now, though? It's just continuing to go back and forth. Because these don't need to be negative, do they? Okay, do these need to be that good? I don't think so. Oh my, now it happens even quicker. You know what? Hmm. Yeah, position dot y. And then I want it to also print. This one. I feel like it's also slowing down. What? Why is it slowing down?
I don't know, am I doing something wrong? Uh, okay. Oh, and now the game is completely bugging out. Hmm. Okay, uh, the middle is roughly, twenty, which one, twenty-seven, the middle is roughly twenty-seven, the, uh, edge is roughly, Thirty-three? And what is the difference between twenty-seven and thirty-three? Six? Okay, so it should be fine. What? Yep, and 26, so if... I'm so confused. Oh my, it's almost 11 o'clock. I could just look right there. I don't know why I didn't. So is the... What? The fudge? Is the... Position... What? The position dot y is less than okay position dot y The position dot y is wait a second. Wait, why is it changing? What? And if I do this, so yeah, it is twenty six point one two four blah blah blah. Yeah, twenty six point one four two blah blah blah. Okay. So right now it's less than the Wait a second. Uh 
Now, right now, it's greater than... Hmm. Why would y equal zero right now? Because, okay. Hmm. Let me just test stuff out here. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is the ball position. The ball position Okay, here when it's at the lower edge Yeah, when it's at the lower edge, it is greater than the body position dot y, which is 12. No, which is this. Okay, yeah, so... It's greater than or equal to the body position dot y plus the body size divided by 3, which is 4. So that it should be 4 plus 20.6. And, okay, that would be 20.699. So it would be 24.699. So position, the position would be greater than or equal to that. I'm so confused. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I guess I can do this. Do I? Oh, oh, I can do... Direction dot y? Print, print direction dot y? Here? And then I can do print direction dot y down here. Uh, that should be good. And I should be able to find out what is going on. Why are there duplicates? What? Oh, I see. The duplicates. Yes, I understand why the duplicates are there now. So it just keeps getting closer and closer to zero. Why? Why is that? Mm. That's that's why. That's why. Okay. That's why. Never mind. Because it has to be greater than zero. Okay. Um
And I guess I should really... Uh, should I? I see. Yeah, I, I, I see. I see what's going on now. Yeah. So... If it's coming straight on... If it's coming straight on and it hits the edge, I want it to go off at an angle like... Okay. So this is the wall, or this is the bar. This is the player bar here. That's fat. That's horrible. That is really bad. Wow. Okay. I'm just going to draw a line. That's fine. If it hits here, I want it to go off like this. If it hits here, I want it to go rough, go back roughly the same way. If it hits here, I want it to go off like, off like this. Okay, how do I, how do I do this? Uh, yeah, so middle, roughly the same. Here, ro uh, uh, okay. Yeah, here, at an angle. I don't even need to go out that far. Okay, back here, at an angle. And here, I want it to go, like, almost horizontal. Or almost completely vertical. So this should really be 0 and 1. This should really be 0 and 1. This should really be 1 and... Uh, you know, I'll try... One and two, sure, and then let's try two and two and three. Uh, what? Yeah, this is not extreme enough. Okay, so I'm going to do 0 and 3. 3 and 6. And then 6 and 10. Or 6 and 9. You know, I'll, I'll do 6 and 9. Whoa! Okay. That's, that's not what I wanted to do. And then maybe, um, maybe clamp the direction. If I clamp it, it's just going to be... Mm. Like, if I clamp it, it's just going to be between 0 and 1. So...
So I'm going to have to set set it equal. I don't think I can do multiplication here. Yeah, I'm going to have to do... Um, Yeah, I'm going to have to do what I did previously. So this is 0 and 0 0.33, 0 0.33, and 0 0.66. Then this is um, 0.66 and 1. Yeah, I think. Okay, but it sped up. Why did it speed up? Okay, whoa. Oh. I see. I'm going to have to expand this, actually. So this is going to have to be elif, uh, that, and then I'm going to have to do this equals negative. There's probably an easier way to do this. I need to rewatch that Brackies video. Like, can I do this? And can I do this with matching? Maybe. Maybe I can actually. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Like, it's, yeah, there has to be an easier way to do this, maybe, probably. I better go ask chat GPT. Uh, then I do um, this here. Slam a jam me. Slammer jammer. How do I keep this normalized, though? I'll figure it out tomorrow. What?
Oh, yeah, I want to do a, um, I actually want to keep this. How do I keep the speed the same? Maybe I can't, actually. That's what they... Or... Yeah, well, wow, this is exactly like Jardinane's. Okay, now it slows way down. And then if I do this, it speeds way up. Should this be a feature? I don't know. Oh, that was way up there. Oh, you know what I could do? To fix this, actually? I could just do this. I could just do, um, was it vector two? Yeah, vector two, and then I could just, uh, yeah. Uh, I could just plug the direction dot x back in here. And uh, yeah, it seems far easier to do this with a function or a method. Seems far easier to do this with a method. Okay. Methods. Method. How do I do a method? Again? Me methods in Godot. Oh, or do I just... Wait... Uh, create methods in Godot. Oh, I guess I just do it in a function. Or is, or is it a signal? Extension methods.
Or is it a signal? Custom methods in Godot. Yeah, I guess it's just functions. As I'm in the midst of... Stop. Let's see, does this dox me? Oh, no, it doesn't. Nice. I add center. Nice. It doesn't dox me, I guess. I don't think. That's fine. Whatever. That's good. That's good, though. Um, okay. Functions. Function. This is to show that I just only said it. Called by to do function the name code be triggered. So func underscore input event. And if our action was pressed, then we call our jump function by writing jump followed by open and close parenthesis. Oh, that's literally, that's literally what I was looking for. And now when I press space, it displays jump. And at this point, I encourage you to add the sound effect yourself. Boing, boing. Oh, I get it. Oh my, okay, I get it, I get it. Okay, I get it, I get it. Yeah, so these are signals. These are, and then if you do function, you can, even though it says func, you know, it, they're not, they're like fake functions, I guess. Okay, uh, yeah, I guess I can just do, um, I can just make a function. That's that. That's fine. So I could do func. Um, yeah, sure. I'll just do func normalized. Uh, normalized new normal you know what? I'll just do um direction change And then I'll have a, uh, sure, X, uh, float, and then, uh, Y, float, and then I will just, uh, input this here. I'll just do return. Uh, this oh can I do this is that is that correct uh, all right we got return.
And this doesn't really matter, does it? Probably not. But it's fine. Return uh, X and then... You know, I'll just do Y, bro. I'll just do Y. Fudge, wait, this might actually be a little bit more complicated than I thought. Ah, uh, probably not. Never mind. Actually, I still want this to return a vector too. Okay, then I do direction dot x. That might not be within the scope, but that's fine. I guess, and then y. I can delete that. What? What? Oh, I guess that doesn't really matter. That's fine. Right, so I can just do this, then I can just do, um... Uh, yeah, sure. I'll just do direction change. Why, this is, um, really not, uh, I really wanted to get off before, uh, earlier than this, unfortunately. All right, then I just do BAM. I just basically do this for all of these. And that should work, I think. Probably, maybe. Oh, 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 that's what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. Now, it'll work nice and good. I think. I can't tell if it's faster, actually. I actually can't tell if it's faster. Okay, do I actually need to make it four? Wait, I don't want it to be zero. Wait, I don't want it to be zero, though.
How do I make this range like negative one to point five? Oh, can I just do I can't do ors on this, can I? Can I do like plus or minus? Bro, no shot. No shot I can actually do this. Wow. That's kind of crazy. Uh, do I want it to include 0.5? Mm. I have a feeling this is going to be a little too extreme. Okay. Does that work? Does that actually work? Wow. Oh, I guess, uh, yeah. I guess it's not faster. Okay, great. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching me. That should have been episode 40. And you will all see me tomorrow.